this video, we're going to cover how to use the if statement in Excel VBA. And we want to use it in a situation where we have multiple tests. So we're actually going to be using the if along with the else if and then a final else as part of our testing. So you can see here in this example, we have a data set of monthly sales for each employee. And the two columns to the right, we have sales bonus percentage and sales bonus amount. The criteria for a sales bonus is any monthly sales amount that is greater than or equal to $10,000 gets a 5% bonus. Anything that is less than 10,000 but greater than 7,500 gets a 3% bonus and anything that is less than 7,500 they get no bonus at all. So we want to write code that first looks at the amount here in column C and assigns the correct bonus percentage and then after that we want to multiply the monthly sales amount times that bonus percentage to get the sales bonus amount if the balance is of course greater than 7500 so I'm gonna hit alt F11 to go into the VBA editor window in this project window I'm gonna right click go to insert and then module I'm gonna begin with the keyword sub for subroutine and we're going to call this bonus. Now the first thing I want to do is declare some variables. I'm going to do this on a regular basis and our employee count could change. We might um, get new employees, we might lose employees, so we always want to find the last row. So I'm going to declare the first variable with the keyword dim and call this last row it is going to be as the data type long because it's going to be a number. We're also going to use what's called a for loop because we want to repeat a series of steps from row 2 all the way down to the last row, whatever that row may be. So we need a counter variable for our for loop. So I'm just going to call this x and it's going to be as the data type long also because it's a number as well. So now we need to define our last row variable. So I'm going to use the cells object and it has two inputs. It has a row index input and a column index input. So as I said, we want to dynamically find the last row. So what I'm going to input for our row index is actually rows and then count. Now that's going to count every single row on our spreadsheet regardless of whether or not it has value. So that's essentially going to take us down to the last row on the entire spreadsheet. And I know there's always going to be values in column A, so I want to look in the first column. So that takes us to the last cell in column A. And from there, what I want to do is the equivalent of control up arrow, because what that will do is bring us up to wherever the last row lies. So to do that in VBA, we would do end and then XL up. From there, we just want to get that row number. So we have stored that last row number in this variable here. So now we want to do our for loop because what a for loop does is it repeats the same step over and over again from a starting point to an ending point that you specify. So it begins with the keyword for and then we have our counter variable. And then we want that to be equal to a beginning point of two because that's where our first employee is in row two and we want to go to our last row variable. That's where we want our end point to be. So now inside this for loop we have our if statement which we have our first test. We want to see if and again we're going to use the cells object here and we're looking at 
for our row input row number two. So we're going to use our counter variable because that's where our first count will begin as it starts at two. We want to look in the third column because that's where the monthly sales are. So if the value in cell C2, which is our starting point, is greater than or equal to $10,000, then we want to assign one column over in the same row a value of 5%. So we use the keyword then, and we have to come down to the next line. So that is going to be equal to 5%. But what we also want to do is format this. So we're going to nest this within the format function. And it just has two inputs, the value, which we've already entered, and then the format we want. We want a percent format. So I'm going to state that inside double quotes. After that, what we want to do if this condition is met is in the next column over, column five, column E, we just want to multiply the previous two cells to the left. So we want to multiply C2 times D2. So that is our first test if that value in C2 is greater than or equal to $10,000. We have a, another condition. So we use the keyword else if. So what we can do here is copy what we've already created and just modify it. So our condition now is greater than or equal to 7,500. If the first condition is not met of 10,000, we want that percentage to be 3% and then everything else to be the same. We just want to multiply that percentage times the sales amount. So now we have what's left, anything else. So we just have the key, keyword else. And this time, we're just going to copy these two bottom sections. And this is just going to be a value of 0. And we can still multiply it, because anything times 0 is 0. So it's going to result in a 0. So now we are done with our logical test. So we need to end our if statement. And then back to our loop, we want to go to the next counter because that's what a loop does. It begins at 2, goes through this process, goes back up here, and increments this 2 to the next count, which is 3 and it goes through this cycle again until we get to our last row and then shuts off. So what I'm gonna do is hit the F8 key to execute this one line at a time so you can kinda see what's going on here. So I'm gonna hit F8 and it highlights our subroutine so you can see our last row is currently set to zero. I know that's hard to see. So when I hit F8 one more time, it's now set to 22. So that is our last row containing values. So now we have our X set to nothing. And now that I execute it, it's set to two. So that first test was not met. I hit F8 to execute it. So it went to the second test, our else if. And you can see it populated 
3% because this amount is greater than or equal to 7,500. And then it multiplied these two values together. So we'll keep going through this a little bit. You can see this was less than 7,500, so it met our else condition to apply a zero sales bonus percentage. You can see this was greater than 10,000. We had 5% there. So now I'm just going to hit play to populate the rest of these cells, and you can see everything gets populated according to the balance of monthly sales for each employee. So that is how you can use the if statement in Excel VBA when you have multiple conditions. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.